I'm gonna make a buckwheat crepe and I'm gonna fill it with some ham, some cheese, some caramelized onions. It's making my mouth water right this very moment. And we're gonna caramelize some onions first because this is a ham, cheese, and caramelized onion crepe that we're gonna make. So I'm gonna actually start to uh, caramelize the onions first. So it's gonna take a little while. And you can do these, you know, days ahead of time. Tiny bit of canola oil and then some butter. And I think a good way to kind of just kind of cheat a little bit is use the, just a pinch of sugar. And you, it will help the, uh, the onions to get that caramelized color and flavor. There's actually natural sugars in the onions that it will, they will actually caramelize, but the sugar will just kind of help it along a little bit. This is probably going to take, oh, a good uh, 25 to 30 minutes. We've only had these in here for a couple minutes. And you can see the edges starting to get a tiny bit brown. That's the caramelization beginning right in front of your eyes. I have my batter recipe here. Let's make a crepe batter. Three eggs, some milk, some water. I'm gonna put everything in the blender. So we have three quarters of a cup of water and a cup of milk. Everybody in the pool. Three eggs. Okay, so a half a cup of all-purpose flour. I had another half a cup of buckwheat flour. It's gonna give it sort of a nice nutty flavor. I love the flavor of buckwheat, actually. Okay, and then we need a little salt and pepper and two tablespoons of canola oil. One, two. Then we just blend. You see, it's like a very thin pancake batter. And what I like to do is uh, let this batter rest for you know at least a half an hour, an hour or so. I have a crepe pan here, and a crepe pan is usually a very thin pan and a little bit of melted butter, just a very tiny bit of melted butter. We're gonna take our batter that we've rested, all right, and this is all in the wrist, okay? Try to cover the entire pan with one thin layer of the batter. Okay, that's what you wanna see. While that's cooking, we're gonna just flavor our caramelized onions a little bit. I'm gonna take just a splash of red wine vinegar and a little bit of fresh thyme. Just kind of send home that Parisian flavor. And these caramelized onions, they're done. Okay, we've been cooking this crepe for about, I don't know, about a minute or so. We're gonna take a look at what's happening here. Okay, it's cooked on that side, and we're just gonna turn it over. We want them to cook nice and evenly. So, you know, medium heat. Even, medium, perfect. Okay, so here's what's gonna go into these. It's very simple. We have uh, some sliced black forest ham. And then some Gruyere cheese, which is, uh, you know, a high quality Swiss cheese. Let's take our crepe out. You see this? It just comes right off the pan. All right, and we just put it back here and stack them. And uh, you can leave them out, you can cover them in plastic wrap. They refrigerate really nicely. Uh, crepes are a really nice thing to actually make ahead of time. We're gonna grate some of, of the Swiss Gruyere. Okay, now we're gonna take um, our crepe, put it back on our skillet, kind of warm the crepe a little bit. As that's working, we're gonna take a little bit of our cheese and a little bit of our ham. And then, of course, we need some of our onions. And then we're just gonna fold it over. And you see it's getting nice and uh, crispy on the outside, it's good. If you're walking down the streets of Paris, they usually put it in some sort of parchment paper or some deli wrap paper, just hand it to you with a napkin, and then you walk down the street and you eat it. Mm. It's great. Ham and cheese crepe. You can see the ham, the cheese, and the caramelized onions right there. See how nicely melted the cheese is? It's good.